back. So today I have a fun tutorial for you. As y'all know, all of my tutorials are super simple because I'm pretty new into makeup. So if you're a beginner, you should love this. Someone asked me, one of my sweet, sweet subscribers, um, whenever I hauled this Makeup Geek shade in Chickadee, someone was like, can you please do a look with this? And I thought, you know what? This color is pretty scary in the pan. And I should do a look that is wearable, something that you can wear during the day, or you can spice it up for the evening. So that's what I did. And I used all Makeup Geek shadows, except for I did put a pigment on my lid, and that was the new Ulta pigments. They're called Ulta Color Pure Eyeshadow Pigment. So I did use this on my lid, and this is just a talk through, so I'm kind of going through it with y'all. And I did want to mention what else I have on my face, just in case you were interested. So on my cheeks, I put this MAC blush. It's the Sharon Osborne blush. If you have this, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It was limited edition, and it's called Peaches and Cream. It's a peachy pink, and I just think it really paired beautifully with this eye look. And then um, I used, this is something new for me. This is the MAC Blush in Harmony. Love this as a contour. Honestly, if you are fair to light skin, try this blush as a contour because it is so beautiful. So on my lips, I have the Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Coral, and I love this lipstick. It's a liquid lipstick. It says it's a long wear, and I completely agree with this. Obsessed with this. I want all of them. I love, love, love it. So that's what's on my lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So if you wanna see how I got this lip, keep watching. First thing I'm going to do is take the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Branded. I'm kind of having to simp funky because my tripod isn't holding my camera up as good as it usually does. So I'm kind of having to slouch and I don't like that. So I'm just taking it on my finger and I'm just going to put this on the lid. I'm not putting it like up all over my eyelid just right here on the right here. You feel me? And um... That's it. I love these Maybelline color tattoos, honestly. I love them. Okay, and then I am going to take this Sonia Kashuk brush, and I'm going to take the color Beaches and Cream. This, if I were to get any Makeup Geek shadow, it would probably be Beaches and Cream. It's just a really, really great transition shade. It's great for a simple eye. If you just want to throw this in your crease and go, you can. So that's essentially what I'm going to do with this big fluffy brush is just throw it in my crease. Very simple. And especially if you're fair skin, this works beautiful and it gives you some warmth to your eyes. So I'm kind of blending that upwards almost to my brow bone. And we're going to go back to this brush and this shade here in a little bit. So I'm just kind of sloppily placing it there. While I'm at it, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with Shimmer Shimmer. If you don't like a shimmery brow bone highlight, you could just use any cream shade that you have. But um, I like some Shimmer Shimmer actually love this shadow even for all over your lid just for like a wash of color I really like it so there is that and then I'm gonna take that brush just clean and kind of blend it a little bit I do a lot of blending with especially with orange colors because you know you don't want it to look really harsh so I was super scared whenever I got this next color it's called chickadee and in the pan and even on the website, I was like, oh my gosh, it's, let me just swatch it for y'all because it looks straight up neon orange to me. I was so worried about it, but this is a very wearable way, especially, you know, I'm a beginner, so I can't do all those fancy looks. I'm going to take it on a MAC 217 and I'm going to focus this more on the crease rather than like the beaches and cream where I use that as a transition. This one I'm just going to try really hard to focus it right here. I mean you can see how orange it is right here in the crease. 
I was so nervous that this was not going to be wearable for me, but with the right blending, the right brushes, and the right application, I feel like anybody could use this shade. So, there that is, and um, I kind of have to go a little bit above my crease because I have hooded eyes. So, if I just did it in my crease, like if I just focus it right here, when you open your eyes, you wouldn't see any of the orange. So because I don't want it so harsh like that, I'm going to go back to this blending brush and Beaches and Cream. And I'm going to add a little bit and I'm going to kind of mute it out and blend it. Just because you don't have to do this. If you want, you know, if you want it to be more defined, definitely just leave it like that. But I like to mute it out and I love Chickadee and Beaches and Cream. It's just... The perfect combo in my opinion so there is that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take okay these two colors let me look at them it is cream brulee and Barcelona Beach if no. you saw recently I talked about how Barcelona Beach is quite powdery it really is but once you get on your eyes it really blends beautifully so what I'm doing is I'm going to take this Sigma E45 which is what I use for my outer V and I'm going to dip into both of these colors just on the side of this brush like that and these colors together are beautiful so I'm using this just to deepen up the outer part of my eye and this brush makes it really easy to do that with no fuss so I love this brush I really do and I look I have some fallout I don't know if you can see it but it's right there it's that Barcelona Beach shade so there that is and then I'm gonna go back to this brush and I'm not gonna put any additional product I'm just gonna use it to kind of buff that in the outer V. You see how it kind of deepens up the outer corner? And then if you wanted to, you really could stop here. Um, I am going to take Chickadee on this. Um, this is actually a crown brush. Now I usually use the Sigma pencil brush, but I wanted to try something different. And so I ordered this pencil brush and I quite like it, to be honest. I got it off Hot Look. Crown brush is on Hot Look a lot. And I think they just, they just call it their pencil brush, essentially. Okay, so I kind of smoked out the bottom lash line with Chickadee. And I'm going to take Barcelona Beach and just place that in the outer part of my lower lash line. Bring it in maybe halfway. This is a really light look. You know, just for a day out. This is a very daytime wearable, appropriate work week look. So you really could stop right there if you wanted to but I of course can't <laughs> I wanted to use my um, new pigment from Ulta and I wanted to show you guys how it applies and all of that so this is in the color Mesa and I love the packaging of these because they have a sifter built in and they don't make as much as the mess as some pigments so I'm using Mac this is the charge water and I'm going to spray, this is another, no, this is a Sedona Lace EB01. Just any flat shader brush will work with pigments. And so I just sprayed one spritz of it. And I'm going to get some of this. And I'm going to pack it on my lid. But you know what? I'm just going to do, I'm not going to do too much on the outer V. I'm going to start from the inner corner and work outwards. And I like to pat it rather than rub it because I just find it's a better application. You really don't get a lot of fallout with these pigments. They're actually amazing. I know if you were going to order these other shadows um, from Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek has some really great pigments and one that you could probably find close to this shade if you wanted to do that instead. So there is that and then I'm going to take the blending brush one more time and kind of just blend it away like that. And this just gives you a beautiful um, glowy pigment to your eyes. I really, really like the way all these pair so well together. And then I'm going to take this Kat Von D liner in Trooper. I wanted this so bad and then I got it and I'm like, eh, it's not worth $18. Is it $18 or $19? I don't think it's 
worth it. I like the Physicians Formula 2-in-1 Eye Booster better than this one, and that one's a little bit cheaper. So I would definitely say you can pass on this and just get the Physicians Formula one. I'm doing a very, very thin line. Carbon Black Mascara which I am starting to like. The thing is, I have to put a couple of layers on, which annoys me, but it's waterproof and it does build well, if that makes sense. Now, something else I'm using, one of my sweet subscribers gave me this. Um, it is the L'Oreal L'Oreal Eyeliner in Highlighter. Okay, let me just swatch this for y'all. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I've been using this every day regardless of my eye look. I just pop it right here in the corner of my eyes and it's so pretty. It's just a simple step that really makes a big difference. So I really like that. Thank you, Samantha. You're the best. And then I'm putting on my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara because my favorite la bottom lash mascara. I love the little bitty wand and it just makes my life easy and it doesn't smudge. So that is it. Let me zoom y'all in so y'all can see a little bit closer. Okay, so this is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you do this look or tag me on Instagram. I always leave like my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter down in the description box. I will also leave, of course, all the products I used in the description box as well. And I am going to be reviewing this foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. So that will be up in the next week or so because um, I'm doing a first impressions today. So that's what I have on as far as foundation. So be on the lookout for that review and I will talk to you soon. Bye.